A new PlayStation 5 patent has been revealed that contains an awesome new feature for PlayStation 5 gamers. Plus, the PlayStation 4 is crowned the top performing console for game sales in the UK for 2020, and a popular game gets a PS5 upgrade, and the Series X once again is outperformed. All this and much, much more in today's edition of the Salty's PlayStation News Report. Let's get into it. What's up, Salt Nation? Welcome back to another PlayStation News Report. If it's your first time here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you can stay up to date with all things PlayStation and PlayStation 5. What's up, PlayStation Nation? Happy Tuesday. I hope you guys are doing fantastic wherever you find yourself around the world, having a good time and playing good games. Like I teased in the intro, PlayStation has recently had a patent revealed specifically for the PlayStation 5, which suggests that Sony could implement a message and tip feature to the PlayStation 5 where players can leave guides and walkthroughs for players in a game, helping them complete an objective or find a secret. The patent was discovered by Scrub Wiki, which was originally filed in 2020, with it being made public this month. The patent shows messages being overlaid onto an image from Killzone, offering tips and helps for players. One of these tips reads through the door, then around the corner, with the other displaying, watch out for this guy as you come around the corner, complete with a drawing and an arrow showing where the enemy is. Immediately when I heard about this, it made me think of Dark Souls. In Dark Souls or Demon Souls, players can leave messages on the floor that show up as a red mark. People can read them. Sometimes they're troll messages. Sometimes they're not. Sometimes it helps you find illusory walls, which are like hidden walls that you have to hit. And you only know if they're there if you hit the wall and you can go through it. It's pretty cool. This kind of reminds me of that where players are helping other players. The patent seems to hint that this feature would be available in single player and multiplayer games. The patent reads as follows. The generation, association, and, and display of in-game tags are disclosed such tags introduce an additional dimension of community participation to both single and multiplayer games. Through such tags, players are empowered to communicate through filtered text messages and images as well as audio clips that other game players, including top rated players, have generated and placed at particular coordinates and or in context of particular events within the game space. The presently described in-game tags and associated user generated content further allow for label based searches with respect to gameplay. By the sound of it, players would be ranked because it talked about the top players in a game and the system would also be able to organize assigning tips by rankings based off of other players rating the tips so it's kind of like reddit right you can upvote it or downvote it and if you get a lot of upvotes it gets pushed up the ladder the uh, patent also makes a reference to this advice being visual textual and also audio like i said with other patents before in other videos you gotta take this with a grain of salt because there's lots of patents filed some of of which never see the light of day but honestly i think that this would be a cool feature players helping other players build a community of gamers this would be cool I, I think i would definitely enjoy this but what do you guys think would you use this feature if it was available tips and tricks from other players do you think there's potential for abuse with this system with trolls being abundant on the internet let's talk about it in the comment section in other news the playstation 4 came out on top as the king of console software sales in the uk for 2020 this data is reported by GI.biz. A total of 39.6% of all games sold last year were on Sony's last-gen console, which is now entering its eighth year on the market. It's worth noting here that this is data based off of physical sales. This is not digital, so take that into account. The Nintendo Switch had 35.1%, but digital sales were taken into account as well, and the PlayStation 4 did incredibly well with that as well, nabbing a 41% of the market share, whereas... Xbox One was only able to achieve 26%. It's interesting to note the way the market is going right now. A majority of gamers prefer to purchase their content via digital storefronts. A massive 67% of all games sold in the UK in 2020 was sold via a digital method via PlayStation Network, Xbox Live, Nintendo eShop, and Steam. I think a lot of that has to do with the pandemic. Obviously, people are less inclined to go out and buy things at 
stores and also it's just the push towards the digital purchases let me know if you guys are still rocking that playstation 4 how do you usually purchase your games do you still do the traditional physical game sales or do you go with the digital are you planning to upgrade to the playstation 5 let's talk about it in the comment section speaking of analytics and data when it comes to the big three i thought this was interesting it's a story from games beat it talks about how much these companies are spending on their gaming brands in 2020 when it comes to top brands and how much they're spending on advertising and the likes the numbers are in its official sony playstation was top gaming brand spender on tv advertising for 2020 it accounted for over 40 percent of the industry's total outlay all told 34 brands spent an estimated 270.8 million on tv brands so playstation spent the most and this makes sense because they take pride in their games jim ryan talked about the release of these games like a big most anticipated motion pictures like the avengers right so playstation wants to do it big when they release their games and they spend a lot on tv advertising etc cetera, etc cetera. they spent over 110 million now if you compare that with xbox which is in third place they only spent 25.4 million in ads i'm not sure if you guys heard the old adage it takes money to make money but this is true it takes money in ads in advertisement to make money i think that we see that with the success of these brands and the way things are going with the two companies do what you will with this information i just thought it was interesting to kind of take an inside look at what's going on behind the scenes but let me know what you guys think of these stats and figures lastly in the last bit of news here star wars jedi fallen order got a next gen update for the xbox series x and s and the playstation 5 this is one of my favorite games from last generation i'm a big star wars nerd you guys have been around the channel at all you would know that my love for star wars is kind of neck and neck with my gaming passion and i love this game it's my favorite game when it comes to star wars games of all time the update is as follows on the xbox series s the frame rate has been increased to 60 fps up from 45 the series x in performance mode this is where it's interesting the frame rate has been increased to 60 fps dynamic resolution added in the range of 1080p to 1440p so it's going to fluctuate within that range in performance mode now when you compare that to the playstation 5 frame rate has been up to 60 fps post processing has been increased to 1440p dynamic resolution has been disabled the playstation 5 outclasses the xbox series x in performance mode again the playstation 5 will not be running this dynamic resolution at 60 fps whereas the xbox series x will be going from 1080p to 1440p to maintain that 60 fps for whatever reason the world's most powerful console the xbox series x is just getting outclassed by the playstation 5 over and over and over again especially when it comes to consistent frame rates and the likes i can't wait to play this game at 60 fps on the playstation 5 i played it originally on the xbox series x so i'm gonna purchase it again and i'm gonna platinum this bad boy on the playstation 5 but let me know what you guys think of this update for star wars jedi fallen order have you guys played the game will you pick it up are you gonna be playing it with this playstation 5 update and what do you have to say about this performance differential between the series x and the playstation 5 let's talk about it in the comment section but that's it for the saltiest playstation news report i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did and you found value from this video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe hit the bell icon for future notifications so you can stay up to date with all things playstation and playstation 5 have a great day play games not flops and as always stay salty my friends